is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. <laughs> Today, I am just in the car, new vibe or whatever. My air is on because it's a 106 degrees outside and it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry if y'all hear that, but I'm going to try to speak louder than the air. Um, I haven't given you guys a story in a very long time, like a year or two. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought, let me go ahead and bring back the story times for y'all or whatever. If you like story times on my channel, if you want more story times on my channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. So comment down below, let me know if y'all want more stories. This story time is going to be about a new person. I mentioned this person, I think, in the story time before. It's like real fast, real quick. But I don't think I mentioned them. I think I mentioned their house being an environment that I was in one time. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so boom. As y'all see by the title, you're probably really confused. I don't know why I'm a title it. I'm just talking. <laughs> this story time is just going to be about like the reason why I stopped talking to this one man. And it was really, really petty. But to me, to me, that showed a lot about his character. <laughs> I should have like got into like the backstory because it was another tell y'all the other story about him okay i don't want to bring him up too much because it was kind of like a quick flash blink of an eye situation ship yeah i wasn't really feeling it it was just it was an accident i was talking to this one man so we're gonna call him rick we're gonna call him rick because i swear i was allergic to this man i don't even know how to explain i was allergic to this man's saliva every time he would like lick on my neck kiss my face i would break out into hives and maybe that was like jesus telling me like let this man go but i swear i would like break out anyways that's neither here or there that's not what this story is about okay so look i met this man rick um because he lived in my apartment building never date anybody that lives in your complex because this is why this shit went on for so long and it wasn't even supposed to one day one night i was really drunk and that's always how it leads and that's why I stopped drinking okay I was really drunk and like you know we kissed in his hallway but we wasn't supposed to but that happened and I guess that just gave him like the gates and open and fled to like oh she liked me oh I want to talk to her but like I was just drunk it was the tequila Rick it was the tequila let me lock my doors before somebody uh come and take me one kiss in his hallway led to like two months of him constantly trying to come over to my house uh, he would text me like are you home what are you doing sometimes I'll be home and just tell him I'm not but then it was kind of hard to lie because you could see my car all you had to do was walk out his door and look to the left and you will see my car in my assigned parking spot so it's like I'm not gonna do the most to move my car and lie about it so sometimes Sometimes I reply and sometimes I won't. One thing I would say of why I probably continued to talk to this man, one, I was bored. Two, I was just like exploring the dating scene. Like I just had gotten out of a long ass relationship with Lady Daddy. So, you know, I was all for it. <laughs> a little bit and then it's like you know the days that I wasn't talking to Chip y'all remember Chip should I tell more stories about Chip anyways the days that I wasn't really talking to Chip he was just like convenient honestly <sighs> this one is like all over the place because I'm trying to give y'all a back story and tell you a little bit about this person Rick before I just like oh this is why I stopped talking to this man <laughs> Because I literally stopped talking to this man. Rick was in college, playing for the football team, which is like another one of my weaknesses. I love athletes. <laughs> love them. And then it's like, you play football? Oh, shit. And he was good. And he was tatted up. Is this giving too much information about this man? No, sound like every other football player. I mean, he gonna know if you ever see this. Because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he still watches my videos. That's it. Okay, let me just, let me just, let me just tell you. Um, I don't know if he still watches my videos, but come to find out, he was a fan. And that should have been the first red flag. Let me tell you that really fast. Brief snap. So one day, we was laying in my bed, right? And then he was like, oh, let me show you this song. Because he used to sing. So he was like going through YouTube, da -da -da, and one of my videos had popped up. And he was like, oh my God, that's why you look so familiar. Oh, in my head, I was like, oh, there's fan out. The only reason why he put two and two together was because he seen DJ Face and was like, oh yeah, I used to watch him. <sighs> we all know everybody watch a couple channel for the girl, if we're being honest. Like, dude, you knew who I was the moment you see me outside uh, of your house that day. You knew it! That was really like one of the signs that I was like, oh, I'm not for real for the talk to this man. But the reason why I'm telling y'all this story is the time where I was like, I'm really not talking to this man. I'm sick too, my bad. That's why my voice like this, sorry. Yeah, let me just stay on track. My brain is like all over the place because I'm trying to make the story make sense instead of just giving y'all like, 
I stopped talking to him. I'm trying to like lead it up to there, okay? Without like giving too much information about this man. So Rick would come over to my house, we would hang out, and I would go over to his house also. Mind you, this man had a cat. I'm like allergic to cats. Highly allergic. Would say deadly. I'm close. Close to it. Is this giving too much information about this man? No, y'all would never know who this person is. Anyways, so mind you, the whole initiative of like why we like bonded in the first place because this man was like an ass. He was like so mean to everybody. What made me like a little hooked was because he was really nice to me. <laughs> He was so mean to everybody else, but he was really nice to me. Like one day after practice, well, you know, the uh, I was supposed to say the NFL, he was not in the NFL. <laughs> Practices run late or whatever, right? So one day after practice, he was like, oh, um, I was just thinking about you. I'm gonna bring you a smoothie from our little smoothie place out here or whatever. So he brought me a smoothie. I think he was just trying to show me his car, which really wasn't his car now that I think about it. But um, it was a nice little BMW, red guts, tinted windows. It was cute. It was real cute. Rick, you go notice you if you watch my videos. I'm doing a lot of rambling and nothing is making sense. I hope you're still here. You're still involved. You're still in tune. Anyways, so yeah, he would come over and I would go over. Most of the times he would come over to my house because like I said, I was allergic to his cat. The times that I did go over to his house, well, I, sometimes I spent the night, sometimes I didn't because I'm telling you, I was having allergic reactions to him and his cat. I should tell you, I was really freaking bored. Mm, yeah, I was bored. I was, you know, like I said, don't mess with nobody that lives in your apartment building because it's too convenient for them to like be in your space. Like, I don't want to be around you all the time. I don't want to talk to you all the time. And for them to live in the same complex as you, all he had to do for sure was walk about 20 steps and he could knock on my front door and he would be knocking on my front door. So the weeks that I didn't have my kid, he was really trying to be all around me. He helped me do like this little mural in later room one day. And while we were doing that, he was like, wow, this is like real stepdad activities. And I just looked at him like, for you to think, for you to think you were gonna be my child's stepfather is insane. It's just stories coming back to back to my mind. And it's just like, oh, this man was like a real like, why? Why'd I do it? Okay, back to the story. Sorry, 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 sorry. Back to the story. So one day, I decided to go over to this man's house. And I used to have to let him know in advance that I'm going to come over. Or he would ask me, like, oh, you want to come over? Because, like I said, I was really allergic to his cat. So he would have to clean up his room, like, extensively. And then he would just put the cat in a closet. <laughs> <laughs> he would like be real bad. He would just like put the cat in the closet but like the cat wasn't just roaming in the closet It was like inside the kennel, but in the closet. So yeah, he would like clean everything instinctively But this day he was like yeah, just come over like I'll keep the cat in the room Like I think it was like raining outside so he was like we could just cuddle, you know cook watch movies eat snacks, right? So I was like, okay, it's cool. I'm down. It was like a man from America went to like a different country like Thailand or something and it was like the man and his wife and his two daughters and he was trying to save his family and get back to America but everybody in the country was like trying to Americans so we're sitting here watching this movie if you know the movie let me know in the comments down below the movie really good um so yeah we're sitting here watching this movie you know we just chilling la 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 a part of the movie comes up where the man gotta save the kid choosing his kids over himself right which anyone that's a parent would do the man is just choosing his family over himself he's trying to protect his wife and his kids any man in the world would do correct especially your children like what my kids are coming before me life or death on make sure i save them so we're sitting here watching this movie like the scene is here and he was just like oh he is so stupid because the man could have saved himself he could have saved himself, but something would have happened to his kids and his wife and all that. But he had an opportunity to save himself and he put his kids and wife before him, which he should, man. Rick, go ahead and like give his opinion on that. So I just look over like, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that you would have just saved yourself, like forget the kids, forget the wife. And this man was like, I mean, yeah, I would save myself because I can always go find another wife. Okay, cool. And I can have more kids. And I said, so just F the kids, right? He like, yeah, just like, you know, I'm not really worried about them kids. I would have made sure I saved myself. And I was like, are we just talking like movie perspective? Are you like, for real, for real? And he's like, no, like dead ass. I'm like, in real life? I was like, maybe you're just saying that because you don't have kids. The frontal lobe haven't developed yet. He's not 25, then. he's not 25. So I'm like, wait, are you serious? Because me, mommy, I have a kid. So I'm like, is it my motherly instincts just like wanting to bop this man? Or is it just like, be fucking for real, like, be fucking for real. So me 
as a mom, I would want to save my children. So this is not working out. So I was like, well, let me put it in a different perspective to see this man's real life opinion and emotions towards this situation. So I'm like, you know, here in America, it'd be people walking around just wanting to poom poom, social events, social gatherings, grocery stores, schools, movie theaters. That's something that, uh, do okay so i'm just like okay so wonder if we actually together because mind you at the time this man really really liked me like he would send me paragraphs just thinking about you so i'm like okay really really like me and i just have to figure out how to not get his emotions more invested than what they really are so say we're actually together real life together Mar been married for years and we're at Target one day, right? I really wanted to break it down just to see what this man was gonna say So I was like we're at Target and somebody come in and they run into the store and You just hear shots going off. Are you gonna try to save me? Are you gonna try to like shield me cover me and he was like and I can't run out the back I'm like no, there's no way out because there's they coming in through all the exits. So are you gonna try to cover me? This man looked me dead in my eye and said it would be every man for themselves excuse you and he was like i would honestly try to use you as a shield oh i said oh yeah that told me everything i need to know me and you we can't be around each other because i'm so paranoid i live in america whenever i'm out and about that could become reality in a blink of an eye so i'm always observant of like where i can escape what i can do if something like that happens god forbid so I'm like, if I'm ever in a public place with you, just knowing that you won't save me, man, I don't feel safe. I cannot be around you. I can't even be friends with you because like, what? Just to know that you won't save me, man. That is like the biggest turnoff and the biggest ick of my entire existence. I just looked this man dead in the eye and in that moment I was like, this is the last day you will see me. Like, I'm still gonna live here, but you would think I got evicted. Like you would never see me again in your life. And then. To take it a step further, which I really knew I was gonna be done talking to this man, he calls his entire family on FaceTime. That day I met the mom, the brother, the dad, the sisters. I'm like, there's no way, there's no way this is how we're gonna meet your family. And no, you did not just put me on a FaceTime call with your father. And then when I knew that it was like a yeah, no, he asked the question, but I reiterated it so the father and the brother can comprehend where I was coming from, you know? So I asked the question how I asked the question to him, say the whole target scenario. The brother was on my side. He was like, oh no, I would try to like, you know, save my girls, save my kids, blah, blah, blah. The daddy, but mind you, his daddy was in his life forever, okay? The daddy was there, two parent household that this man was coming from. The daddy said the same thing Rick said. He said he would not try to save his wife because he can get another one. And the kids, uh, he might just have to leave the kids. Every man for themselves in that situation. And I just was like, well, that one don't fall too far from the tree. God damn. They wasn't lying when they said that one. In that moment, it's getting real dark. Let me hurry up. But yeah, in that moment, I knew that that would be the last day ever. After all the little incidents that told me, Deja, you don't like this man for real. That was the one that was like, yeah, no. For somehow, some way, I was telling myself, it's all right that I'm literally allergic to this man's saliva. It's all right that I'm allergic to his cat and he treated his cat like his daughter. Literally, that man was like in love with his cat. You know how people are with they, I guess, you know, I'm not a cat person, but you know how people are with their freaking dog? He was 10 times worse with his cat. That's another like, what? Grown ass man with a cat? Oh no, don't give me the ick. <laughs> Kinda give me the ick. Like, why are you, why are you, you got a cat, grown ass. Anyway, tweet his own. Tweet his own. That should have showed you how much he liked me because he really treated this cat like it was a human baby. And he used to put her in the closet for me. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway, he was trying to be stepdaddy. He wanted to be laid in so bad. Um, what's another thing? He would just try to come to my house so much. So many times, so many times. And then he would try to call me, FaceTime me, every time he had practice, like around all his teammates. Like, stop, stop before somebody know me for real. I was just like, please stop. Like, oh my God, don't put me on the screen. But yeah. It's neither here or there, okay? That is really why I stopped talking to that man, Rick, and never ever talk to him again. Turns out I'm blocked on Instagram. 
<laughs> he blocked me. I found that out a long time ago. A long time ago because his friend tagged me and him in a story uh, post or whatever. And only my tag was popping up. And I was like, he blocked me. But yeah, that's the story on why I stopped talking to this man. It was probably really petty. But in my mind, like, that's not petty at all. That just showed me that you would not protect me. And a man is supposed to be a protector provider. You didn't do that. So I had to let him go right now. He was trying to be back before I knew it. But yeah, I was like, yeah, no. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little mini story time. Was it really mini though? I don't know, maybe. Sorry if it was all over the place. Like I said, I was just trying to give y'all little snippets of this man here and there so you can understand that it wasn't just like I met him and this is why I stopped talking to him. No, I like I said, I was talking to this man for like two months. May possibly even longer than that. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I just know I just did not like that man for real. And I really just wanted to tell him that can we just be friends? But every time I wanted to tell him and tried to tell him, it was just like he never seen the flags. Like he was just blind to all the flags too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far, you're not yet subscribed. What? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts down below. And like I said, if you want more story times, let me know. I'm going to try to go into my brain and pull out the archives. All right? Got to go. My kids need me. Bye.